Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll basically be seeing the salary comparison between a data analyst and a data scientist. And again, I've done a lot of research regarding it. I've referred various sites. Uh, one of the sites that I would like to specifically mention is called as payscale.com. Uh, in that, based on the survey, there is salaries of each and every profession that we basically have. Let it be data engineer, data scientist, data analyst. But in this particular video, we are just going to discuss about the salary comparison or we'll just discuss about the salary comparison between a data scientist and a data analyst. Now to begin with uh, the average, again, I'm going to show you some of the diagrams which will be in the right hand side uh, as you go ahead. So if I talk about data analyst, the average base salary of a data analyst uh, in companies in India are basically around 4 lakh rupees INR per annum. Okay, but it is just not 4 lakh again guys since I'm taking the average now currently just tell me one thing that if I'm taking the average of various companies of a data analyst in this case we'll be taking the median now uh, just write down in the comment box why median is basically taken in this uh, scenario why not mean so uh, I would like to know the answers from you all uh, that would be great uh, for this particular stuff. Apart from that, uh, if you want to know the popular employer's uh, salary for data analyst in India through various companies, again, there's another diagram over here. You can see uh, you have Accenture, Tata Consultancy Limited, ENY, Genpact, Accenture Technology Solutions, uh, eClerks, HSBC, Global Logic. Now, from here, you can see that HSBC provides the maximum salary uh, when compared to the other companies. But again, there are some other companies also which provides more than HSBC. But uh, these are the popular employee salaries for a data analyst in India itself. Now, apart from this, I would also like to discuss about, uh, you know, the pay, uh, pay difference by location. Now, there are, since people uh, work in various locations like Pune, Mumbai, Gurgaon, Bangalore and many more places. So here in the right hand side, you can see that if you're working in Pune, so that basically means you're basically getting a more than 27% than a normal place. Uh, in Bangalore, you're actually getting more than 6% and this is again based on the um, you know place where you're living. And this is completely based on the cost of that particular living city, right? So in Bangalore, you have more than 6% uh, than the normal salary. And in Chennai, you have more than 1% in all the remaining states like uh, Hyderabad. Sorry, in all the remaining cities like Hyderabad, Mumbai, Gurgaon and New Delhi, the, it is a little bit less. Again, uh, I'm not sure, uh, but I think in this case, uh, Gurgaon should be also a little bit high in the higher side because the cost of living is a little bit high if we compare Gurgaon. Uh, but again, uh, this survey uh, is being collected and this is what it is. So if, if I if you go and see this particular site, uh, you'll be having this particular survey based on some 10,000 people, you know, again, it is just a sample from a population. Now, apart from this, uh, uh, this was the basic information regarding a data analyst in India. If I talk about a data analyst for a fresher uh, in US, right? So at that particular time, we will be seeing that the average data analyst salary is somewhere around $59,559. And again, here also we are basically taking the median. The minimum salary is somewhere around $42,000. Uh, the maximum salary for a fresher is somewhere around $84,000. And between this, we have taken the median, which is basically $60,000 approximately. And uh, after this, the popular employer's uh, salary for data analyst in US, you can see over here, we have Kentin Corporation, Cashier Permanent, uh, Boon, Allen and Hamilton, Amazon.com, Humana, JP Morgan, Google Inc. and United Health Group. So these are the companies and you can see that uh, from this I think Amazon.com gives the highest, uh, no sorry, Google Inc. gives the highest and again there are also other companies uh, but I don't think so they'll be giving more than Google, right? So this was the data analyst salary with respect to US. Uh, now, similarly, if I consider with respect to data scientists, now let us move towards data scientists and this is, uh, you saw the average salary of a data analyst for in US and uh, India for a data analyst. Now we'll go ahead and try to understand what are the basic salary of a uh, data scientist in India and with respect to that and similarly in USA, you know, and this is, I'm just talking about an average uh, for salary for a fresher, okay? So if I go ahead and try to see over here, um, when I consider the average data scientist salary in India, it is somewhere around 8 lakh rupees, approximately 8 lakh rupees for a fresher. Again, 
it need not be this exact there are many companies who provides jobs to freshers and the salary usually varies right so uh, over here you can see that the average salary and uh, you can also see the minimum salary somewhere around 3 lakh 41 thousand the median salary is somewhere around 8 lakhs 14 thousand and the maximum salary is somewhere around 20 lakhs sal uh, 20, 20 lakhs in short INR and these all are in INR uh, so and this is again per annum it is not just uh, per month then uh, just don't get confused with that and over here again the median is basically taken uh, you can see the diagram over here in the right hand side and again the popular employer uh, salaries for the data scientists again given on the right hand side you can see companies like Mu Sigma, Tata Consultancy Services Limited, Accenture, Amazon.com, Cognizant, IBM, International Business Machine, Corp, Flipkart. So these all people provide data scientist job and you can see that Accenture, Amazon.com, you know International, IBM basically and Flipkart provides a huge salary um, when compared to the other one. So again over here we are basically just talking about the average salary of a data scientist so this was one of the very good uh, survey that was done by payscale itself and i'll also show you that how many people had actually uh, surveyed this okay so after that uh, we'll also try to understand uh, you know uh, this survey was based on you know 3000 approximately somewhere around 2600 people and you can see that the entry level people had given around uh, like 14.5 uh, percentage of the total population were entry level early career around 57 percent of the people were from early career who had actually given this survey and uh, the mild career uh, sorry the mid career uh, was somewhere around 20.7 experienced people were somewhere around 6.6 .6, and late career was somewhere around 0.3 percent of that total population that many people have actually given this uh, survey in short apart from that if you if you see okay now you all, you may also be interested like if the years of ex years of experience is increasing so how will be the pay later on right so again from the same survey you can see one more diagram on the right hand side now here you can basically see if a person is less than one year his salary will be less than five lakh rupees then if he goes between one to four years uh, and this is for a data scientist again guys the salary will be somewhere around uh, seven lakh for sixty thousand per annum uh, INR and uh, if you are somewhere between five to nine years uh, your salary may be somewhere around 10, 10 lakhs INR and if you are between 10 to 19 years uh, your salary may be 20 uh, lakhs INR and when it is collected more than 20 plus years then it is just showing 86,000 so most probably you can see that uh, the late career people you can see from the data it is only 0.3 percent right so over there much data is not been collected so we have not come up with this but i think so 20 plus years will have more salary when compared to the other again uh, when i talk about this particular data you can see that as your years of experience is increasing your salary tend to increase in short okay and this was the survey again taken up now if we similarly talk about an average data scientist salary in us for a fresher is somewhere around ninety six thousand uh, dollars and again guys this is the average salary again when i see the mean median part you can see that the minimum salary is somewhere around sixty five thousand dollars per annum and the median is somewhere around ninety six thousand dollars and the maximum salary is somewhere around one lakh thirty four thousand so in short you can also say that one thirty four thousand dollar salary and popular employer salaries for data scientists in US, uh, you have Booz Al, uh, Allen Hamilton, Microsoft Corp, Facebook Inc, uh, Amazon.com, IBM, uh, Apple Computers, Google. And here you can basically see different different salaries. Again, from this, you can basically see that uh, Google has the highest pay and they provide it to a data scientist somewhere around $135,000 salary. Uh, again uh, this 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 survey is very very interesting because uh, if i move ahead and try to understand that how many people have actually surveyed there were somewhere around 10000 people and in the entry level uh, like 13.4 percentage of the total population of 10000 were in the entry level in the earlier career there were somewhere around 61.9 percent in the mid career there were somewhere around 17.1 percent in the experience there were somewhere around 6.1 and in the late career there were somewhere around 1.5 now if i talk about the pay by experience for a data scientist in us like if the data if, if the person is getting experienced how salary is increasing as a data scientist so here you can see that if the person is less than one year it is somewhere around 86k uh if the person is somewhere between one to four years is getting 94k if the person is somewhere between five to nine years is getting 108k and that is again approximate values uh, if the person is somewhere around 10 to 19 years, he's getting 120K. And if the person is more than 20 plus years, he's getting 134,000. 
dollar salary and that is very very good salary in short uh, again this are some of the details again with respect to the data scientists and here you can basically see that as the years of experience is increasing it is definitely increasing now here you can see the survey is basically given by 10,000 people where in the case of uh, Indian data scientist there was somewhere around only 2500 right so the last part more than 20 plus years uh, I don't think so many people are there who are working in data science domain so that information is not properly captured uh, apart from that uh, we should also understand the pay difference by location for a data scientist and again in the right hand side and i think this is approximately right in gurgaon and bangalore based on the cost of living in the city the salary is quite high somewhere around 23 percent than the normal salary more than 20 i mean uh, from the base salary with whatever experience that you have you're getting more than 23 percent in bangalore you're getting more than 22 percent whereas in some other states like mumbai pune chennai and new delhi it is a little bit less um, now, what are the actual skills that may affect your data scientist uh, uh, jobs and you may also get a very high pay if you have this particular sales. So again, in the right hand side, you can see this. Uh, if you have statistical analysis, definitely you will have a salary great, uh, like it will increase or it will tend to increase till more than 21%. If you're having big data analytics, again, 19% uh, increases their natural language processing because this is one of the hottest uh, topics that are currently work. Um, people are researching in uh, you know machine learning and deep learning itself you have microsoft excel deep learning data modeling machine learning r you can see that data analysis and sql has become very very common so it is in the negative side but everything it will actually lead to a positive side okay all the other technologies now this was in short uh, all the information about various roles and uh, i mean various average salaries of a data analyst and data scientist i hope you like this particular video now as you know the basic difference between a data analyst and a data scientist is that a data analyst uh, you know just does some descriptive statistical analysis whereas a data scientist does both descriptive and predictive analysis so by this particular survey you can definitely see that a data scientist is having a very good salary when compared to a data analyst um, and there is reasons predictive analysis is currently the hottest thing that is going on and again you need to know machine learning deep learning neural networks you saw that you need to know a very good you should have a very good command on natural language processing even in India there is a huge requirement of natural language processing so if you are a fresher and again if you want to basically do some specialization do it in NLP because uh, that will definitely help you to get calls because there are a lot of opportunities for NLP natural language processing um, this was all about this particular video. I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all.